Promises of 15, 30, or 50 percent return on your investment, promissory notes, inside information on a stock, these are all red flags for investment fraud. But millions of Americans fall victim every year to make a quick buck. If you think you may be a victim, call our help center now. The staff from Harding and Associates can help. Their number is 303 218 BEST. That's 303 218 2378. And Jeff Peterson, an attorney with Harding and Associates, is here today. We had a tough time finding you. You because you were off somewhere answering all the phone calls that are coming in. Yeah, I was talking to people on the phone. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people calling this morning and thought mm -hmm. uh, different losses that they sustained as a result of uh, being placed in investments that they didn't know could become illiquid or mm -hmm. uh, investments that lost a large amount of money when they were led to believe that they were conservative investments. Okay, so what type of person should be calling today? Uh, well, people who lost money in investments that they had understood to be safe or secure or mm -hmm. um, people who invested in securities that uh, unbeknownst to them could become completely illiquid and, and have become completely illiquid uh, or anyone who is believed that they're misrepresented the uh, nature of the investment that they placed their savings into. So a lot of people go to these money saving seminars. They're sucked into that. What mm -hmm. can what is the potential danger there? Well, people get these invitations to these dinner investment seminars where they're offered a free dinner and they go in and people try to talk with them a little bit about investing in certain investments. Sometimes these things can be very high pressured. And uh, there's been some research done by regulators to say that a large number of them actually contain misleading information and uh, some of them are even considered to be fraudulent. Really? So who is typically the target in these situations? Well, you see, the people who are primarily targets of investment fraud are usually people over the age of 60, but it mm -hmm. can be anyone of any age. Uh, the largest number, uh, largest percentage though are people over the age of 60. They have, you know, retirement funds, they have a lot of money that they're looking to invest. So they're usually the, uh, the the target of these types of scams. And you can definitely answer any questions that that demographic may have today as they call in. Uh, there was recently an investigation into these types of investments, mm -hmm. and the trend was pretty scary. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, I mean, what you find is that over 60% of people over the age of 60 have received an invitation to one of these things in the mm -hmm. last three years. And you have as many as... Um, uh, you know, even over 60% that have received six or more. Mm -hmm. You know, you have elderly people. I know my father-in-law gets them by the box load, these, really? these invitations. Yeah. And, you know, they offer them a dinner. They go in. And um, uh, FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, has looked into these and determined that at least half of them contain some sort of misleading information. Mm -hmm. And 12% of them are considered to be outright frauds. And um, usually these types of seminars are, are pushed towards people who are not really valid for them or a certain age group, right? Yeah, I mean, every investment recommendation you receive should be considered, there's a term of art called suitable, mm -hmm. meaning it has to fit you as an investor, your wants, your needs, your sophistication. Uh, if you take a very sophisticated investment product and sell it to a person that's unsophisticated, that would be considered unsuitable. It's really narrowly tailoring the investment to the investor. And a lot of times you see these uh, dinner seminars where they're trying to sell one investment to a large number of people. Mm -hmm. And it's just not it's suitable for a lot of these that's people. A, that's a red flag. Yeah. Now, how can people protect themselves? Well, people can do a lot of things. They can try to research the investment prior to going to the seminar. Um, they can hold off in terms of making a decision to invest until after the uh, after the seminar is over. And they, they can also ask a lot of questions during the seminar to make sure they're not just accepting the information that's coming to them. Is there a way to reverse some of these things that maybe they've been dragged into? Well, uh, unfortunately, they'd have to uh, contact an attorney to reverse a lot of mm -hmm. these, uh, these investments if they were placed in something that was unsuitable. And that's why you're here today. Oh, yeah. OK, yeah. so the big question today, what's it like to work with Phil Harding? It's an unmitigated honor, let me tell you. <laughs> we always joke with Phil because he's on here every week. He's like a regular on our show. He's a great guy. And uh, 
you definitely want to call today if you have any questions about what we've been talking about the last few minutes. If you think you may have taken, been taken in an investment scam or your money has been mismanaged, call our help center now. The staff from Harding & Associates is ready to answer your questions. And the number there is 303-218-BEST. That's 303-218-2378. To reach Harding & Associates when they're not in our help center, call 303-762-9500 or you can get them online at hlaw.org. Well, coming up.